This is a somewhat intimidating looking chemical reaction, this Fe2O3 plus H2SO4, but let's give it a try. It's actually not too bad. So let's count up the atoms on each side of the equation. We have two Fe atoms, oxygens, we have three hydrogens, we have two. And what I like to do is if I have an SO4, this polyatomic ion here, the sulfate, SO4, and I have an SO4 over here, I'm just going to consider it one thing. I'm going to call it SO4. And in this case, I have one of them. On the product side, iron, I have two. Look at our oxygens, just this one over here. Hydrogens, two. And then SO4, the sulfate, I have three of them. So SO4, three. Let's leave the oxygens till last and let's fix the SO4s first. So I have three here and one here. If I put a three, I know that this one times the three, that would give me three. So now my SO4s are balanced. Let's update the hydrogen though, because I have, instead of two, I have two times three. This three goes to everything here. And that gives me six. So we fix the sulfates, the hydrogens are still a problem, but I can put a three in front of the H2O and I know that two times three, that equals six. So everything except the oxygens are balanced and we can update our oxygens. We have one times the three and that equals three, which works out great because we have three here and three here. And now everything on both sides of the equation is equal. That means this equation is balanced. The trick is when you have something like an SO4 group, if it's on both sides of the equation, you can treat it as just one item. So here I have my SO4 and then here I have my SO4. That makes the balancing a lot easier. You're not counting up lots of oxygens and trying to work through that. So this is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Fe2O3 plus H2SO4 yields a bunch of stuff. And thanks for watching.